One more question? Do it. All right, Ron's having some issues with the wireless network in his home. He writes in, hey Robert and Patrick, can you do a show on how to properly install Cat5 cable to your Blu-ray players in a home that has no Cat5? My living room is 60 or 75 feet away from the home office where my router is. I want to bring some streaming Netflix to it. I could have my cable company relocate the modem closer to the living room or run cable through the crawl space. Is there a limit to how far I can run Cat5? Will 802.11g to the PS3 or Xbox 360 handle the speed needed for movie playback? Would love to hear your thoughts, Ron, in lovely Charlotte, North Carolina. Woohoo! Okay, first of all, Cat 5, Cat 6, 90 meters or 295 feet, that's pretty much the distance you get before you start getting into issues and start thinking about things like, you know, power boosters or it's basically splitting into segments in between switches probably at that point. You need a well-made cable for that though. Yeah. If you're making your own and you nick that cable just yeah. barely, forget that kind of distance. Yeah, but I mean, like 100 feet, you basically, you can go to, probably go to a local computer store or like our local computer store, Central Computer, they sell 100 foot cables for like 12 bucks. Order one online for mono price, you know, buy one locally. 75 feet, not a big problem. I, I would say the bigger issue is actually if you have critters in the crawl space, anything that likes to nibble on copper. I would say though, rather than Cat 5, do Cat 6. That'll give you 10 gigabit ethernet, which is basically like 10 times, it's future proofing, <laughs> man. It's future proofing. Gigabit's not enough. I remember when you <laughs> laughed at gigabit. Nobody's well, going to need gigabit. How many, how many 10 gigabit routers are out there? Well, oh, there, there are, it's, out, they it's, are out there. But well, here's the I thing. You. If you were like wiring a future new home, a good right, I would say do Cat 6 because that's where it's going in the future. Think forward, and it's basically going to cost you pretty much the same. But seriously, critters in the crawl space, are there fire and building regulations? Chances are, though, you should be okay. They, they basically go in the Home Depot, go in the Lowe's, wherever you like to buy your supplies. You can probably find the cable there along with all the supplies you need to, you know, hang the cable off of the rafters, do whatever you call the joists underneath the floor. You should be fine. Um, and I gotta say, I, I really like running Cat 5 or Cat 6 because you get much more bandwidth and it is extremely secure. So you don't have to worry about people nibbling on your data. Totally. G Wireless, if it's performing at, at close to its maximum throughput, mm -hmm. should be plenty fast enough for streaming all the video you just talked about. So. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it might depend on the router you're using as well. Different routers respond differently in different environments. I just bought a new one to replace an old B router I used to have, and it supports an N standard as well as G and the others. I'm finding its throughput with all of my wireless gear is just significantly better than it used to right. be with my old hardware. Routers have gotten a lot better. Do yourself a favor. Go to smallnetbuilder.com. Amazing website. They do exhaustive testing of, of 802.11 routers and all sorts of network gear from, you know, uh, network attached storage, basically all kinds of good stuff. Awesome website, worth your time. They do charts, basically, and, and they you will show me you there, which routers open. Pick my new router. Yeah, it's actually, and, and you're right, the new routers work a lot better. I would say though, man, because even a little tiny house like mine, you know, moving something a few feet can make a huge difference in degrading signal quality. Yeah. It's really nice to have like, you know, a piece of copper running from one end of the house to the other. Then you can put a second Wi-Fi router in the other end of the house. You can have better cover for everything. Hey, yeah. I gotta stop <laughs> talking about this.